Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk and today we've got a pretty little um, tag um, Ferrero holder uh, for a bottle of wine. So it's a standard 70 centilitre bottle um, and you can see it. this sits just on the neck there and holds just two Ferrero Rocher and I'm using the new Hearts Come Home set. So it's got these lovely little houses um, and lots of uh, super sentiments. Um, and it also comes with some super coordinating dies as well. So you can really uh, go to town on on uh, on this and have a lot of fun with creating some scenes and hopefully you'll enjoy some of the things that I've been creating as well. So um, I'll be doing this in centimetres today. Um, it, I will try and convert it into inches and if I manage to do that I'll pop it on my blog as well. So to start off with then you're going to need a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock and this is half of a UK A4 so that's 10.5 wide and you just trim it down very slightly to 29.5 long so it's just taking a couple of millimetres off the end there. And you're going to start by scoring the short edge at two centimetres, flip it round and score again at two centimetres. Okay, then we're going to turn it horizontally and you're going to start by scoring again at two centimetres, again flip it and then we're going to score at 5.5, at 7.5, that should have been just above and below, 7.5 above and below, 16.5 which is that horrible measurement on the join and 23.5. And the great thing about this um, holder here is that it is uh, reinforced so it's really nice and sturdy. You're also going to need a piece of Whisper White card and it's only a small piece, you're just going to need a piece that is 6.5 centimetres uh, six centimetres or just over, about 6.1 centimetres in width by 8.5 centimetres long and that's for our stamping. Okay, And then you're going to need just a strip of um, designer's series paper which I've done to about 1.8 by round about uh, 21 centimetres or so, you know, whatever you happen to have because it doesn't matter if it overlaps on the back. So that's all our cutting and scoring done. So with our piece of cardstock then, the first thing we're going to do is no surprise, we're going to fold and burnish those score lines. So, not that one. Right, fold and burnish all of those. So this one where I scored all the way, just pretend I didn't and I scored just the top and just the bottom so you're not going to burnish that one but the other ones you are. Particularly important for these ones on the top here where it's going to fold back on itself but all the way down you're going to fold and burnish like so. So now we're going to do some trimming and this is the, the, two, the long sections at the top. You're going to trim all the way down on that score line and just snip away and again. just here, like so, put those to one side, then you're going to snip on where it should just be a short score line, so if you do it like me and you accidentally go, go all the way it really doesn't matter, um, it's not going to adversely affect your final project. Okay so you're going to notch out that first little tab, keep the sides straight on this long one, and notch out the other small one. So straight and notch out. So notched out, straight, notched out and that one can be straight as well. Next thing we want to do is we're going to use a one and a quarter inch punch 
and I'm just doing this by eye but you could put a post-it note to make it absolute dead central and just punch through on that section fold the top section in then use the punched circle as a guide and punch a second one so that's going to give you a holder and that just reinforces it and if there's any bits which are, are showing then you can just trim those if you want to just neaten that up so now we're going to come in with some fuse and do some gluing. So just a couple of bits of fuse on the inside there, just to hold that in place. Down these two long sections, and those go to the reverse of the label, you see here. And then fold these bottom two scores back on themselves. And we're going to put some glue on those four little tabs. we are when I get myself organised. So just come in with our fuse as close to the edge as you can get and don't forget with fuse just that nice little tick at the end and don't press too hard because it's it needs to be gentle. Fold that up and we're just going to create a little box which is going to be our tray at the bottom. Fold those in Then take our strip of DSP and then just come in with, with some snail or whatever adhesive you prefer and then literally just by eye just centre that onto the card. You don't have to worry about scoring, you can literally just fold it round and there we go, and crease it as you go around. There we go. So that's our, our holder. Now for our stamping. So I've actually chosen, uh, while well, I was doing the start, I've chosen a different sentiment from the same stamp, stamp set. So this one says, enjoy the warmth of the season. So I'm just going to use some cherry cobbler ink and literally just pop that on there. And that's one of those beautiful stamping up fonts where you've got that lovely handwriting and the, 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 the printing. I'm then going to use the Santa sleigh on the top there with some archival black. There's a lovely black image. And then the very bottom, I'm going to do the houses in our smoky slate. So, our house in the middle there, oh, wonky house. Take a little more time than I've done to line those up. <laughs> those are wonky houses. I, I'm honestly, I haven't been on the wine beforehand, honestly. And then all you need to do is then attach that to the section here. And it literally just sits in the middle there. And then all you need to do is, as I've done here, pop that over your bottle of wine. And those two Ferrero Rocher fit just nice and snugly in there. And there you have a Ferrero Rocher holder. Um, it's quick, it's easy, but a nice way to, to just add to a bottle of wine that you might give. And don't forget, at seven and a half, top and bottom only. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon for more Ferrero Friday projects. And uh, don't forget, if you want any of the products that you've seen today, pop to my Stampin' Up shop, heidysmith.stampinup.net, follow the links to the shop, or pop onto my blog and you'll see a link there. And there you go, Ferrero. Thanks for watching. Bye now.